How's it going folks? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tacvis, otherwise known as your friendly neighborhood basement dweller. Don't worry sir, I am from the internet. And today we're going to take a look at this sweet system. Over here, this is really budget and AMD Ryzen 5003. So this thing definitely has a Ryzen inside. A lot of people like the Ryzen's, the AMD. I'm not a big fan of them. Like, I'm not saying they're not worth the money. It's just, it seems like over time, if you want reliability, it's better to go to Intel. But I know a lot of people smarter than me that disagree with me on that. Now, the box says that this is a 5300U 2.6 gig g and uh, 256 gigs all this fun stuff what can i tell you kid computers never lie same with boxes okay so off the hop this thing definitely is super lightweight which uh, really helps when you're carrying things around it feels a little bit cheaper it feels more plasticky than some units i believe this unit costs about 800 bucks but you try to get a computer uh, a laptop at a better price than that in this day and age over here on the left side over here on the left side we can see where the power plugs in we got usb-c hdmi usb and then single headset uh we got the reset button right there if you need to reset it to uh, reinstall windows or do anything special you use that button that might actually be the factory reset or for the bias too over here at uh, the right hand side we have an sd card reader usb and cad5 i really don't like those clips because those clips keep breaking off on me the lid looks really nice and professional unlike my autofocus and when we check out the back it looks like i'm actually going to be able to get into it without having to rip a keyboard off which is good now of course since i'm a bit of an artard i like to check out the nice hash and uh wow it looks like i can be making a whole three cents a day mining with this thing i'm surprised i can mine at all i mean mining has been getting harder and harder every year Okay, first up, let's run some uh, benchmarks, a uh, pass mark performance test. Okay, DirectX 9, we're rocking down at 26 frames per second. Not bad at all, considering the price of this unit, about 800 Canadian rupees. 8 frames per second when it comes to DirectX 10, at least the up close. So, an 8th generation i5 gets about half the speed I'm noticing. We're checking out some DirectX 11 Space Jellyfish at 30 frames per second, which is about what I expected out of the unit. Now, some people are always interested in glare, and we got some minor glare over here. We definitely have a bit of an acid finish on the monitor to restrict the glare. And while this glare is picking up on the camera, I'm not actually seeing it with my own eyes and I don't know what's going on because it's definitely not infrared light, so I don't know why. Yeah, DirectX 12 rocking down at uh, a very sustainable 23 frames per second. Very nice. And in the end, we got a score of 3,697. That is pretty good considering the money I paid for this, or the money that was paid, I should say. Next up, of course, let's try out some gaming. Let's try out some Fortnite. Okay, so it looks like we're in some performance mode. We were in the waiting room at about 57 frames per second. We're in the bus. Bus ain't looking very good. And uh, we're looking around at uh, 50 frames per second we're taking a look and we're noticing we can see rows but we can't see pavement okay the xbox one definitely looks better uh than this once again if you're new to the channel i love griefing people on the way down we're falling at about 50 60 frames per second not bad i'm only getting minor hiccups or glitches i'm guessing this thing would have an ax chip and i guess if they were going budget they could go ac but isn't everything AX these days? What's up, sister? Mm-hmm. Oh! Gotta try that again. So as you can see, it's not the most high-res thing. Um, I've definitely seen a lot better. Maybe I've been broken because I used such a high-res system recently. Anyways, it definitely takes a second for things to load in and look like they're supposed to. I'm noticing all these characters are the same generic character. I think that means that uh, the skin hasn't loaded in. Oh my god, what do you want? I know what he wants. He wants the wet food. I made the mistake of doing this video in the basement, and if I go to the basement, the frickin' cat thinks it's time for wet food. Hi, Zoe. Can I come in? Yep. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, Zoe? Okay, my kid is in here too. Well, I think they know. Hi! Zoe says hi, everyone. God! Yeah, this definitely isn't looking as good as the Xbox One. Please don't. Okay. Oh, and I, now I got them all going. Yeah. 
So Zoe has been banned from giving the cat cat food because uh, one day behind her back he gave the cat like seven or eight cans. He was a stinky cat that afternoon. So yeah, they're definitely going for an office use for this. I mean, it'll get you by in Fortnite, but you're definitely not going to be playing Cyberpunk uh, 2077 on it. It's pretty clear that the original Xbox One does a better job of rendering and playing this game than this system does. Oh man, look how rough the trees are. Yeah, that's a, that'll give you a pretty good idea of uh, what the system's like for gaming. Got him. Oh yeah, ladies. All right, kitty. If I make it to number one, I will give you some wet food. I promise. Oh, let's see if I can long shot this one. Nope. Yeah, he got away. So it's no secret. I am not the best sniper. I am all about powerful LMGs with crazy bad aim. Give me that x-ray vision. Give me that penetration. Ladies love the penetration. Ladies love nothing more than to see you destroy their man with the deep penetration. You know, you get like deep impact or full metal jacket on your bullets. Don't be perverts. I know what you're thinking. Whoa, that was way off. Oh, how did I die? Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for me. So overall, a sweet little system for the price. I definitely recommend you check it out if you want to do office work. This isn't a gaming system, but for eight, nine hundred bucks, uh, you should be happy with what you get. That's it for me, Neff from Nest Tech. Please like and subscribe. Always appreciate it, folks. And as always, uh, take care of each other, will you?